pain is something you can never share with someone else. When you are broken, when you are going through worst times in your life, no one will ever be able to experience that pain which is in your heart, which is in your mind and spirit. My dear friends, most times when we are hurt or broken, there may be people around you who may comfort you, who may share your burden, but they may never be able to experience the pain, the brokenness, the complete damage in your heart that you are going through. You can never hand them over pain. Pain is not a commodity. Pain is nothing that you can carry and just hand it over. Pain is not something which can be sent on an email or a text message or on Facebook or Instagram. Let me be very frank with you. If you ask someone who has been through the worst pain in their life, they will always tell you rightly that experience can never be forgotten what they went through. The pain they went through can never be shared with someone else. My dear friends, in today's sharing, we are going to understand what pain is, how do we deal with it, what are the questions regarding pain. I am sure you are going to be blessed in today's teaching. John 11.35 Jesus wept. My dear friends, the shortest verse in the Bible speaks about sorrow, pain. Yes, if you would think and ask yourself this question, why did Jesus cry? He knew there was going to be a great miracle in the next few minutes. He was going to raise Lazarus from the dead. There was going to be a resurrection. But why did he break down? When you read through the verses which follow 1135, you understand he was moved by what he saw. People were broken. They were crying there. Jesus wept because he could relate with human pain. He had the emotions that human beings went through. He physically saw pain as we do as human beings. My dear friends, pain cannot be equated with people, with good things, with surroundings immediately. Pain can only be equated with God. My dear friends, those of you who are asking questions in life about pain, I'm going to be as frank as possible. Only God can physically stand with you and clear a lot of the damage which cannot be irreplaceable otherwise. There are people in this world who have gone through pain. No one can ever hear them out. No one can ever understand them. No one can grant them that solace. That's where God steps into our life. He feels what we go through. He understands what no parent can, no husband, wife can, no brother, sister can, no human being or a therapist on earth can understand another human being's pain. My dear friends, God is the only one who can get private with you and console you. My dear friends, I'm telling you this loud and clear. If you have been through the worst pain in your life, the best thing you can do is to run to the Lord and say, Lord, I have this worst experience in pain. I want you to set me free. My dear friends, God will be your consolation. He will comfort you. The Bible speaks of different kind of pain or sorrow. Second Corinthians 7.10 speaks about godly sorrow. Now, what is godly sorrow? Godly sorrow brings repentance which leads to salvation. Sometimes in our life, we may be going through the worst of pain, the worst of situation. However, these things will lead us in ways that you and I don't understand in meeting Jesus. My dear friends, the way I met Jesus was very interesting. You can watch some of my previous videos and really understand the way of God in my life. Most of you who are watching this video, the way you met Jesus might also be something really amazing. Sometimes you can never explain the way you met Jesus. A lot of people who I meet for prayer, for deliverance, for healing in Bible studies and sessions, quite often people are really surprised and shocked. In pain, God opens channels for us to pour out that pain, for us to seek, search that comfort, 
which can never come from human beings, which can never come from anything that has been created on earth. It may ooze the pain, temporary comfort. However, pain can only be dealt with with the Spirit of God and the peace of the Holy Spirit in our life. Sometimes when we are broken and completely destroyed in our heart, we fail to understand that God is using your experience to talk to someone else about the kind of pain you had to go through and the kind of pain they are going through. You will be a blessing in that person's life because you as human beings have gone through those kind of very broken pain. My dear friends, in life, God uses our painful experience for us to understand our loved ones, families, close friends and people in our society so that you will be a blessing in their lives and you will be a fantastic revelation for them to meet Jesus somehow in their life who comforts all of us so that we may comfort someone else the way we receive the comfort from God. What a beautiful blessing. I'm not glorifying pain, but I'm telling you in your worst nightmares, in your worst painful situations, when you think about it, only God remained. Peace came only from God. Yes, family was there. Close friends were there. Yes, doctors were there. People who know you were there from childhood. However, the best feeling, the best sensations, the calmness, the actual peace came from Jesus. Second Peter 1-2 speaks about beautiful things. For example, grace and peace will be yours in abundance. My dear friends, the moment we run to God, probably you're a believer for many years right now, the kind of peace, the kind of abundance that you experience in pain is unthinkable. My dear friends, I'm telling you a very big fact. When you are a believer and when you're going through the worst pain, if you will pay attention to God talking to you, if you will just hand over that situation, I'm telling you, Peace will be in abundance. The world today has the largest number of people looking for peace in their painful times. The Bible offers peace and abundance when we relate to God at a certain phase, when we are able to connect with God regularly and maintaining that relationship. Peace is offered to us in abundance. Peace that the world is searching and they are not able to find, but peace to you who have this relationship with Jesus, peace is going to be a byproduct of your relationship with God. If you're looking for peace in your family, in your marriage, at your workplace, at your personal life, private life, I think today's sermon is loud and clear. You need Jesus in your life and you need a breakthrough from God in your life so that you can experience that glorious peace in your life. 2 Corinthians 7.6 gives us the biggest definition of God. God should be someone who should be able to comfort me when I'm down, when I'm lonely, when I'm alone. You may be having family around you. We may have so many wonderful people at all times around us. However, there will be these feelings that you go through, these sensations of pain, certain memories in your life, which will really crush you time to time. In spite of having all these people, you may be going through depression. In spite of having all that you need, you may be going through the worst phase in your life. Pain which cannot be seen is the worst kind of pain. Sometimes people cry it out, people hang out with people and just let it go. But sometimes, certain kinds of pain is going to be inside us for years and years. My dear friends, God comforts us. God is the only one who's going to take care of us, who's going to be able to understand what you went through, what I had to go through. And today I'm telling you this loud and clear, allow God to deal with that pain in your life. I'm not sure if I will be able to understand what you're going through. I'm not really sure if anyone who is with you will be able to understand. I am sure of one thing, God's word says, God will comfort you. You may be someone who doesn't believe in Jesus. You may be someone who is questioning God in your life. I'm telling you the best way to come close to God is to ask God and tell him this, Lord, if you are a living God, 
Come and prove to me through comfort. Show me the right direction. Help me deal with this pain which no one can understand. My dear friends, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. That's why in Christianity, whoever believes in Jesus, peace is given to them in abundance in the midst of all kinds of pain. I want you to understand in the days to come, God has great things in store for you. Dealing with pain is going to be easier for us after we understand today's teaching. And I'm going to tell you, share this with people so that they may be blessed. And I'm wishing you all the best in all that you do in the coming days. And remember, always run to the Lord to take care of the pain that you may be going through. God bless you. Stay safe. Have a fantastic week ahead. God bless.